so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over! Open up, we're here! Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Hey everyone! Hey everyone! It's the new hi to wave with both hands. This is the new OMG. OMG, we're coming over because in OMG We Bought a House, we did our own house, set it up, had so much fun doing it, so now we are... Setting up other people's houses. <laughs> we are at the apartment of Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz. The stars of Vanderpump Rules. Katie's got an incredible blog called Pucker and Pout. Pucker and Pout, awesome beauty blog, fashion blog, lots of inspiration there. And then Tom is a actor, model, actor. So he goes on audition. They're also both massive on Instagram. And Gordo, who's the cutest. They just moved into this new place and this is their first adult apartment. Okay, let's go. Oh, good. Don't be mean to me. Get in the bath. I'm friendly. I don't even shower anymore. He just licks me. Can we talk about design ideas we have? Yeah. Since you don't always approve. I've realized that I'm actually the worst person ever when it comes to decorating because you do all the work and then I just sit back and, and critique it. Tom basically likes what I like, except for the That's blue dresser. I trust I don't her. get it. I don't it's, like it. First of all, it's not a primary color. It's this like a gray. What it is is it's stock and it belongs in a it's daycare not, center. No, it I doesn't. It that like would be the haunted. chicest daycare center ever. <laughs> Tom thinks that like leaning a picture frame against a wall is like art. I guess I like minimalism. For someone that likes minimalism, you have a lot of clutter. Yeah, I do. So the fact that we have these high ceilings, like that space in the dining room and in the living room. It's a lot of space to fill up. Luckily for the both of us, I fully trust Kate and Joey. Me too. And Kate and Joey we trust. And Kate and Joey we trust. I'm so excited to be here doing Katie and Tom's space. I love them. They're such a fun couple. You've been shopping. The stools are new. Yeah. Yeah. I love those. Like I've been saving that. Stuff. <laughs> Every it's day there's stuff. at least three packages that come to the door. Katie and Tom have a lot going on in their apartment. They both work from there and they also shoot the show from there. It's potentially gonna be seen by millions of people, so we need to make sure it looks good. What do you want to do in this space? Um that's not really important. <laughs> what do you want to do? When I stay here and look into the dining room, that corner is so high. And it so really I don't want to just like hang some things and put a table on there and be like, all right, cool, we have a dining room. You know, we never had a dining room. Finally, our first real adult dining room, but yeah. it isn't like too formal. We want to sit down and have breakfast at it or yeah. just hang out at it. We're all about cocooning now in our hermitage. And Postmates. I want a lot of art. Yeah. Art's expensive, so you know. Definitely we need some major awesome art there. Yeah. This wall is also gigantic. Well, are we gonna do something with this space too? Yeah. I think the we first the thing plan. we should do is we should start painting. When I was asking Tom if there was anything he liked or didn't like, he said no primary color. So we're painting the wall green, because it's a secondary color. Green yeah. happens to be our compromise color. I have to be honest, I thought concerned. the color was a little bold. A little bold. I panicked. I you know what? I saw it and I, I had flashbacks to the dresser that she bought. How do I dip my roller? Uh. <laughs> so they got their cool little rollers, but I got the real roller. You want this roller? I'll do that roller. When Joey gave me the big pole, he I felt very comfortable it. because I'm used to handling big poles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that sounds Wait, my hard. own big pole. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with handling other big poles, but I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is. I've painted many walls oh my in my room. Yeah. Oh, look at that technique. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, it's a little aggressive. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I gotta say, I really like painting. It's. um. Cartholartic? No, you can say any of those words, they all work. Relaxing. I like it. I like painting. Tranquil. You know? This room is kind of oddly shaped. It's an L shape, and there's just huge giant walls. So, an accent wall is the perfect thing to do. It almost looks black. What? <laughs> it does. It looks black to me. Okay, Tom, oh. you're officially no, no, no. colorblind. I love it. Are we going to do the wall behind us, or? We are not painting that. This is our accent wall. Hey, We're trying yeah, to just right. give you some drama. No, over there, I have a secret project plan. Okay. Inspired by your ass. Wow, is it really inspired by my ass? What have you decided to permanently put on your ass? Bubba. Look how cute that is. <laughs> this is the evolution no. of like how the names came about. You so made this? I think it was Babe, Bubby, then it was Bub, then it was Rub, then it was Rubba, and ended up Bubba. Bubba Bubby. Too many people. Let you go get the ladder with me. Let them paint. We're leaving Tom and Katie here to paint. Me and Kate, we're gonna go get the ladder. Got it? I mean, it's just cumbersome. I can carry it. You can just help guys. 
Oh. This ladder, man, it's epic. It goes so high, but it is so hard to wrangle. How do we make the turn? You go down, I go up. Oh my God. Are we stuck? No. Okay, Joey's like usually pretty good at space plotting, but I don't think this ladder is gonna fit up here. Well, don't let it rest on the wall. Kate, can you go get Tom? Really? You're not helping at all. Tom. Man. We'll show these ladies what real men do. Oh, this looks amazing. Hey. hey, Tom, can I borrow you for a second? Yeah. You and your muscles? Yeah. No. You're needed in the stairway. I think I'm the real muscle. She is the muscle. So I'm gonna thread it like, okay. And you're gonna start taking it that okay, way. Okay, I gotcha. Whoa, it's working. This is your gym for the day, Tom. When I talked to Katie and Tom about what they like, they talked a lot about artwork. They have huge giant walls, so they made huge art. This is the tallest ladder. Tall the ladder. Why do we need to go that high? Well, we want to do this, which is a sketch that we've made kind of brainstorming the string art. So the perfect solution is string art, which Katie is so into the idea. Let's we'll see the colors. Open. Kate pulls out the yarn buffet of colors, which I'm really digging. I think there's a few primary colors in there for him. I get scared when I see yarn. I am not a fan of like yarn crafts, no offense if you are. I hope this goes on looking chic and not too crafty. The great thing with string art is you get to pick your color palette because you can buy any kind of yarn you want and you can also make it whatever size you want. Have you ever done string art before? I haven't. Oh. <laughs> 120 inches would be the space that it takes up vertically. Okay, the I feel like it's perfect. That's good. And Oh, thank you. We're gonna do some string art, bro. So the four of us are plotting out the design. I think it's important to have the nails placed evenly in a vertical line so that we have some structure. Can you let it go? Yeah. Ow, Tom. Bobby, what? Oh, yes. You just sliced my finger. Of course, when you're holding the tape measure out 10 feet, you should just let it go. I'm sorry. And just let it kind of like- I thought like it was plastic, not coil metal. Back it still up. would've cut you probably. Dude, that thing's almost sliced to bone. All right. Oh my God, did you, oh, she really cut herself. Sorry, Bubby. We've got our symmetry. Tom, how do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? We're just using the measuring tape pencils to mark where we want the nails. We're spacing them five inches apart. You want to use one color of yarn at a time. You can create your design any which way you want. I don't want to do any right angles with the yarn. Everything is diagonally going across. And then we're ending each color by finding the same nail that we started with. This is looking so cool. Dude. So cool. It looks like a crane, kind of. I'm feeling it. I don't think I want you guys to see the rest of this going up. Tom and Katie, get out of here. We're going to finish this place. You're going to come back, and you're going to be like, dang. What? All right, we'll okay, call bye. you. Bye, guys. See you we'll later. see you when your room's right. done. Well, as I fall off a lot. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>Things that have kind of an industrial look mixed with a classic look. So we picked out these two pendant lights that normally hang from the ceiling and instead we're gonna make them sponsors by wrapping them onto shelf brackets. I know that Tom really likes graffiti art, so I'm gonna take a cue from that and do a large scale spray paint canvas and I'm using his framed list of bay names as my guide. And since their walls are white, I want the majority of the canvas to be black. I'm taking a can of spray paint and going to town doing some freehand letters. This place was super weird because there used to be two levels. They blasted one of the levels out and made it this giant loft. And they have these sort of two doubled screen doors. We're gonna make this work by just putting in a gigantic floor to ceiling curtain. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your- You got it? It's not long enough. All right, can you grab it? Yeah. Got it. They don't sell curtains that long. So it took a trip to downtown fabric district, finding a fabric that worked perfectly with the color palette and then bringing them to a tailor with our measurements to get those curtain panels made. What do you think? It's very hip. It's like if you were to walk into a museum or something. It's ugly cool. Like it looks like, you know, Joey. it looks- It's in a good way. You're ugly cool. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do, in a good way. <laughs> What does it say? I get it, it's the thing, it's their thing. It's how they developed the word Bubba. They have so many nicknames that we don't have nicknames for each other. We call each other stupid. Oh, you each are stupid. I'm already having an annoying voice. If I also called you babe, I would be the most annoying person on the planet. Stop it, babe. Well, leave it alone, babe. Tell me, babe, is that good, babe? No, no, you don't like it. Tell me where to oh. put it, baby. Oh. <laughs> can you go up and mark the top of it? I don't think I can reach that. Get on my shoulders. <laughs> Just get on my shoulders. <laughs> Get on my shoulders. I don't, I don't like this. Hey, just get on my shoulders. 
<laughs> no, no, I don't like it. I don't mark like it. it. I mark it. it. Mark it. Like it. Okay, okay, go down. <laughs> <laughs> These are pendant lights that you normally like hang from the ceiling. Yeah. But I thought it would be cool if we used shelf brackets and like wrap these around. What this dining room really needs is an amazing chandelier because we gotta fill that space. And what better than a large scale fixture? This chandelier is the perfect mix of rustic wood with crystal. Ooh, right there. yes. Oh my God, it's so pretty right with there. the string art. Okay. What? Is that where you want it? We took the bulbs out for travel. Where'd you put them? I couldn't find them. I could only find one. I don't have the bulbs. You don't bring the bulbs? I don't bring the bulbs. I'm not bulb guy. You're bulb girl. That's where it's going. It's too bad if it's not good. It That's is it's good. Going. It's good. Right, it's great. Yeah. It just has one bulb. We have to find more. The chandelier looks amazing in this space with that string art. It's the perfect mix of modern art, classic art. Okay. Oh. Pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Like you. We have big plans for a dining room table because of course Katie and Tom need a place to eat finally because they're grown up. But we need to anchor that dining room table with an amazing rug. Oh look, it's our favorite thing to do. Oh no, <laughs> no, not again. I think Joey thinks that he started a new tradition which is pulling me down on a newly rolled out rug. We work so hard, we need to hug and love a little. <laughs> oh. This table is a great combo of rustic with some kind of industrial vibes with the hairpin legs. Super easy to put together. We're just screwing on the hairpin legs. Okay, what? yeah, just put it back like that. Yep. You know what's so funny? Yeah. Is this like the same exact color as the dresser in the bedroom? Yep. That Tom hates? Yep. This sideboard is definitely the same color as the dresser that Tom hates. I found these two soft aqua kind of sea foam color upholstered tufted chairs. And then surrounding it, I love mismatched chairs. So we're using these metal French bistro chairs. So Katie has this old broken mirror that she actually found in a dumpster. Kudos to Katie for doing a little dumpster diving. I think if we just put it on the hutch, she can do some styling in front of it, it'll be perfect. If anyone has pets, you know how important they are to complete the unit. So we need to give Gordo a corner. Katie has this awesome round shelf, which is the perfect area to display some select items from Gordo's massive basket of stuffed animals. Katie and Tom have these really cool old school glass bulbs. One says bar and one says exit, which is perfect because they have these two flush mount lights over their bar and over the front door. It's gonna be very customized looking. going by so slow. This is like the longest day ever. Yeah. Time to go knock on the door yeah. and see our place. Yeah, let's do it. Wait. Ah! Are you ready? Yeah. You see? Come oh, in. My god. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to build the suspense a little bit. Rubber, rubber, that, you, hey. Uh, I can't believe I am. Thank you guys. You doubted us? I mean, it's a tiny no. bit. Immediately, I just tried to take it all in at yeah. once. I mean, Her everything just like all ties yeah. in. It just feels like a Pinterest board. It does. Comes to life. That's exactly how it feels. Floor to ceiling curtains, that's luxe right there. It's very tasteful. It's not over the top, it's not pretentious to tip. You know what this color is, right guys? It's the year of money. It's a big year for the Mactor and for the blogger. The curtains, floor to ceiling curtains like that are just, they belong in that room. Yeah. Look at Gordo's play area. Oh my god! <laughs> that's so cute. Gordo now has his own little corner with yeah. his little portrait and the shelf. Hey, do nothing if you love it. Just be cute if you like it. Oh, Kiss me if you it. like it. He must really <laughs> love it. Look at the little bar area. I know, and those lights are perfect. They're so oh cool. Oh yeah, the lights look yeah, so cute. Awesome. And they work with everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, look at that. 
Yes. I know. You know. Such a grown up. <laughs> yeah. That is so not gorgeous. Yeah. So gorgeous. With a chandelier? Yeah. What? Wood and crystal, the perfect combo of like rustic and glamorous. And also may as well have like a five million dollar piece of art installed in your wall right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 You love that hutch? <laughs> you love it? <laughs> you guys. You get it? You know Wait, is like? that? It kind of looks like. <laughs> it's a flea market find. Yeah. And we brought in here and Joey and I looked at each other and we we're like, oh. No, it actually looks really good. Treats for you guys. Oh! What? Thank you for pimping our place. Oh. You guys pimped our place. I personally did not have any doubts at all. I this place now feels like it's gonna help us enter into the next phase of our lives and our relationship. It's we're gonna be able to grow into it as a married couple. So I'll say one word. One word. Um, just. Um, that was your word. All word. right. Can I say a few? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, he changes his rules. To growing up at our own pace. Oh. Very good. Oh, it's so fun doing other couples. It makes me. I know. It just reminds me how special you are to me. Oh. And how so nice. talented you are. Oh, thanks, Joey. You're very strong. Thank you. <laughs> that was so fun. I'm so glad that Katie and Tom loved the space. Tom and Katie were amazing. They're so cute. I love them. We took what we love about them and I think what they love about themselves and expressed it outwardly into their space. And I think it's gonna be really nurturing. Check them out on their show, Vanderpump Rules. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on Instagram. Check they have out. amazing Instagrams. And of Check course, out Katie's blog. Pucker and Pout is so inspirational too. You'll see Tom on screens near you soon because he's macting all over the place. He's just macting. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah! Thumbs up too and comment. comment. What do you like about the suite? Let us know. And we had so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we'll get to do another OMG We're Coming Over soon. We are doing many more OMG We're Coming Over, so subscribe so you don't miss those. Joey, Green don't button. be too demanding. Then they won't want to. Bye. Bye. Today we are at Shameless Maya's apartment. You know Maya, she has an amazing YouTube channel. So the first project that we're tackling in this space is something that is really important to Maya, which is disco balls. I think this is the last. Uh, are we doing one each? Yeah, <laughs> yes. We are glittering using some spray adhesive first and then sprinkling the glitter over it.